Oh shit, no, I don't need to save again. What am I doing? Oh, I got that. Nope, how do I... Nope, 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 nope. That's not what I meant to... There we go. <laughs> shit, sorry about that. Oh yeah, uh, I should keep forgetting. Report card! Scale points. Right. Um, who have I talked to already? Oh shit, he's dead. <laughs> Even the announcer right there. Dead. I got the scale robot jock. If that's gonna help you with something, then I hope it does. Melodious voice. Alright, so what did I get from these? Max SP plus one. Okay, that's definitely helps a lot. What were you again? Max SP plus one. Okay, that definitely helps as well. Uh, what were you, Celeste? Max SP plus one. Max SP plus one. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Figures. Oh yeah, there's also... Who's the third person that died? This chick? Oh. Don't remember her. Okay. <laughs> uh, is there anyone else that I talked to? Before? No, I don't think there is. It's gonna really suck when I actually have to face the fact that one of my friends died um, in the game. Yeah, like, you build a relationship with them, and you get tend to know them, and then all of a sudden, pff, they're gone, and that's just gonna really stick my heart. All, right, all the stress and anxiety kept me from falling asleep until late in the night. Alright, what is this for exactly? What's the point of this? Whenever I spot a cute girl, I have the tendency to stare. I can't help it. I just gaze with intensity. The other day, what, wait, did we just say this already? In the bathroom, just looking at myself in the mirror. Did you say that story already? I could have sworn you already said that. So there's definitely repeats as well. What's the point of those moments? It's not entertaining, it's just... Once you see it over and over again, it just gets really repetitive. Good Like this... Morning, like, well, give me... At least you're with your vibrant personality and psychotic behavior. Do something that's entertaining. I don't care if you, like, do something fucked up or anything. I mean, I thought the execution was fucking fucked up already. And that was at least entertaining. Kept my eyes peeling. But, uh, I guess I better head to the dining hall before anything else. Unless no one's there. It's not my free time, so... I guess I can't do anything, right? Alright, let's go. What's up at the dining hall? Is no one there? Or is someone gonna die from poison? I went to breakfast meeting, same as always, but... There's only some people, or... Is everyone here? Is this everyone? It feels a little small. Yakuya and Toko had stormed off yesterday, and it wasn't too surprising that they had come today. Even the table looks bigger somehow. I assume it's because three people are dead, and two are abstaining. Yeah, with five people missing, I guess it would, it would feel kind of empty. Still, I know Byakuya's whatever, but should we go check on Toko? For serious? I vote no. She's super annoying. I second that. I, I second that. I, who's who? Was it with me? Come on, hero. High five. Uh, high five. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How can you be so cold? You are a piece of rock candy. Yes, but those rock candies will help your Pokemon's level up. You hear me? What? No, rock candy is cold. It's sweet. <laughs> Shit. Anyways, Byakuya is the real problem. We won't keep an eye on him, he might really kill someone. You see it in his eyes. We got no choice! Get some rope, we're gonna have to keep him bound and gagged! I think that's gonna go a little overboard. Count on it. He's right, in this situation, there's nothing scarier than when an ally turns into a loose cannon! Uh, my nose is fucking stuffy for some reason, I'm sorry. Ugh. What? What the- Excuse me. What the fuck are you talking about? You're gonna use that rope to tell or something, idiot. I'm not an idiot! You! YOU'RE AN IDIOT! I wouldn't go sing that to a biker gang if I were you, Kyotaka. Damn you! Who you calling stupid? Pinhead! Who you calling a pinhead, dummy? Who you calling a dummy, dummy? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what's wrong, Chihiro? You don't look so great. Aww. Oh, I'm just getting through a little self-loathing. Huh? Self-loathing? Well, after what Byakuya said to me yesterday, I just got so nervous. I locked up, I couldn't say anything. Mondo ended up having to help me out, help me out and he said I, I was someone who can't fight back. I, I hate how weak I am. Uh, I see, so Mondo made you depressed. What? How is it my fault? Hey, come 
I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weak. Oh, pulling the sexism card now, why don't ya? Are you crying? It's because you were screaming like a lunatic. Hey, come on. Hey, come on, don't cry. It's my fault, okay? I won't yell at you anymore. Really. Not sure how I can believe that. Huh? Just shut up! Why? I got it. I'll what? make you a promise as a man. Huh? Promise as a man? Yeah, that's right. Maybe I mentioned this before, but ever since I was a kid, there was one thing my brother told me over and over again. He said no matter what, a real man always keeps his promises. That's what that's what he left me. Uh... Left you? Yeah. Oh yeah, my brother's dead. <laughs> oh, I see. That's true. Anyways, don't want to talk about it. Don't want to make me hold you guys cry. Yo. Anyways, so you can trust me when I make that promise. So you don't gotta cry anymore. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mundo. That's Mondo for you! Uh, but... Uh, but I still don't like how I'm right he I am right now. I have to get stronger. If I'm so weak, anything can make you me cry. That's not good. Still, don't stress out too much have about having to get stronger. Um... No. I want to get stronger. Maybe I should start working out. <laughs> In that case, I would be happy to help you out anytime. <laughs> what? That Miss Fujisaki would get smashed into billions pieces! Just a second. Shut up, you! <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, finally cracked a smile, huh? Yeah. Thank you. Everyone? Yes, yes. Looks like your hero gotten something, some life back. Yeah, man. If we keep helping each other out like this, we're bound to get out of this crappy place sooner or later. I mean, someday, I'm sure. Cause everyday friendship is magic. All right. Still, our biggest concern right now is the other two who never showed up for breakfast. Ah, be fine. We don't have to. Well, again, they might be plotting about something right now. Who can I do to try and understand these two? What can I do to try to understand you two better? Talk to them? Oh, okay, so what should I do today? Free time. Byakuya. Please, uh, have a, a spare day. Not you. Library, I'm assuming. Are you always at the fucking library, you goddamn nerd? Uh, who are you? Oh, yeah. Oh well, man, yeah. Why are you always at class 2B? Why specifically there exactly? Oh, hey, dude. Uh, don't mind me. I uh, I'm not plotting anything or whatsoever. Nope, nothing at all. Huh? Are you reading anything? You're busy, or why? <laughs> yes, Mr. Shelf. Would you like some company? Uh. God damn it, super cursor. What the hell? There we go. Really? Is there any time in which I actually get to talk to this fuckhead? Uh. Actually, I guess I could plot out my next plan right now. Alright, what should I do? Uh, these guys are always hanging out here. I could always hang out with Kili Gili again. But I feel like a stalker if I do so. Just one peek wouldn't hurt, right? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I don't mind you two. You guys could wait lift all you guys want. I'm just gonna go through here real quickly. Uh, oh, hey, hello. <laughs> um, was that intentional or not? what? Now, this is an interesting poster. <laughs> Obviously, someone put this in the school, but it, is it really okay if you have something like this here? Uh, which one's my locker, by the way? Just a monitor. Okay. I'm gonna assume that. Yeah, I don't think that she's at the sw like she's in her swimming pool or something. But yeah, let's hang out with her. She's at the pool. Oh, where the fuck is she? Uh. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Wow, you're way far ahead. All right, Aoi. Okay. 
Even if it's hard, you have to endure. 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 That's a quote from the famous marathon runner Samuel Mwanjili. But every person's endurance has a limit. Why the fuck not? I mean, hey, let's make her one of my friend members. Why not? I think we need a change of pace. And when I think change of pace, I can only think 50 laps in the pool. Oh, fuck. Well, I'm trying to get... I mean, I've been dancing in Dance Central. Is that a good endurance match? I've been dancing for around like three hours straight. Is that good? There's so many times where you can dance through everybody's back by Backstreet Boys. Uh, I changed my pace with Hina in the pool. Plus seeing her in a pool swimsuit. Awesome. Anyways, Hina and I grew a little closer today. Uh, is there any present that she would like? Water. I don't know if she's gonna like birds or something, but... Alright, so there's a bird seed. Maybe a school crest wouldn't work as well? I don't have that anymore, do I? Yeah. God, how long do I have to scroll this thing? Alright. And a school crest. Maybe she'll like that? Let's give it a try. What? What the fuck? Really? Alright, so my only option- I really need to go to the gift shop more often then, huh? Alright, let's try birdseed then. You like that? <laughs> thanks, I'm super stoked. Does that mean she liked it? Is something wrong, Hina? I've reached my limit. Just a second. I'm stuck in here. Can't do any sports, can't do anything, I'm sick of it. I wanna get out of the under- I wanna get out under the sun and do some laps, run a marathon, I wanna do some real sports. Hina, calm down, okay? I can't do anything in here. If I can't run around, I'm gonna die like a bunny rabbit. But I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. So, uh, if you're with me, then, <laughs> then uh, whatever. I'm gonna die if I can't get some proper physical activity. You're into boxing? <laughs> I don't wanna fuck up your face, but, uh, I've been known to be the type of person who's really good at Wii Sports. <laughs> um, but, uh, don't you think that's a little extreme? What the heck? You think I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know? Why else would I have to join six sports teams in school? Six? That's right. Yeah, track, baseball, oh sorry, track, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. The big one? Pool, swimming? She got her main sport, I ran out of juice, it's gotta be swimming. <laughs> Going home? That's my guess, right? The main sport is swimming, right? Yeah, you got it. God, I don't even care what stroke it is. I just get me into the pool under the blue sky. But isn't it hard for you? T but isn't it hard to do that many sports even for you? Oh. If I can't move, I'll just shrivel up and die. And I need a challenge. More and more new stuff to try. A challenge? Yes, I mean, what I really love about sports isn't winning, you know. I have to fight and struggle to give it all. You, you got to reach the top. Can I be your apprentice? I, uh, I need, I need, uh, that training as well. It's that excitement, the fear that you might actually suffer a heartbreaking loss. But... When you finally reach the goal, it's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know? I never really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she's talking about. But I could tell that she, the reason why Hina is so amazing and how hard she could fight and struggle. Um... So that's why I want to push myself as hard as possible when I, it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the very highest mountain top. The highest mountain top? Okay. I'm talking about the gold medal, of course. Aim to the aim for the gold, even if it means I'm super gold spaz. Did she just call herself? Okay, but uh, if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason? If you have a goal, why are you standing around making excuses? I excuses? Just a second. Hey, when did I ever make any excuses? Sure, maybe we're stuck in here right now, there's no way out. But if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try to see what you can do in here? Oh. Uh, that's a challenge! You made an official challenge! Yeah, totally. But I think you're right. If I want to get- This is very unfitting music, what the fuck? <laughs> can I change the music? System. Options. I can't change the- Fuck me. Yeah, some of the music selection is also, is also very questionable. Like, some music, like, when it comes to, like, the scary music, sometimes they play in, like, a very... Not that scary moment whatsoever. I mean, there are those moments where, like, where that pop sensation girl was, like, creepy scared out, and that's definitely fitting for this song, but not a conversation with 
overcoming challenges. I think of like a very epic or monumentalish song, not Slender Man. <laughs> Anyways, um, if I want to get that gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. I want to become a genius of effort. I bet Ian Thorpe said something like that. Okay. Yeah, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck here. All right, I'm thinking about I'm going to do some push-ups in my room. Maybe, maybe a thousand or something. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. She recovered exactly as fast and strong as I would have expected. Do 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 do. I got more skill points. What the fuck are skill points for again, exactly? Oh, whatever. Once again, I headed back to the room for a while. Still daytime, and I'm just guessing more free time for me, so. I'm not gonna end the, uh. I'm not gonna end the, uh, part just yet until I finish the entire day, so. First off, we should really buy something at the gift shop. Where the fuck is that thing again? I'm trying to remember. I think it's like at the first floor or something else. Not the gym. Not the gym. <laughs> again. Is it here? No, I don't think so. Is it second floor? No, it's not there either. There's office, boys' bathroom. School store, okay, so it's somewhere around here. There we go. I think I can recognize the uh, symbol as well. The question is, who the hell am I gonna hang out with right now? Is there anything specific I can buy, or... Or what? The vending machine doesn't seem to take any money, so I guess we can drink here as much as we want. I kinda hate looking at it, maybe I should start being up on it. Alright, uh, well, here goes the randomizer. How much money does it take? It takes random gifts, right? So... Alright, how do I do work this thing again? Zero percent repeat, does that mean I... Oh, okay, so it's like the chances of me getting a new item... Well, I don't care. I care if I get a new item or the same item, so it doesn't really matter. The problem is, what item am I gonna get? A flashlight? What the hell am I gonna use with a flashlight for? Maybe we could give it to Yasuhiro as a gift, in case the crystal ball broke. The dandelion? I'm not sure if Celeste would like that or not. She likes the she likes roses, but I'm not sure if she's gonna like a dandelion. What about this? A watch? Maybe to tell the time, so that maybe Byakuya could be uh, of interest if I help him. Oh, he might fuck me in the back if I do help him. Clock. At least I assume it's clock. Maybe it's like a very old radio. That could work for uh, Celeste. As long as it doesn't like rot or anything. I hope it doesn't rot. I got whatever that thing is. I'm gonna spend it until I get like 50, maybe. A fax machine or a phone? I don't fucking know. Why would I need that? It's not like you communicate with anyone, anyways. What does that mean? Oh, more items. Okay, cool. Another ring! Why not? Okay. Do I get lucky? No, okay. Uh, I'll take maybe nine more. And I'll be it. Um, why the fuck would I need that? <laughs> Who the fuck am I going to give that to, exactly? What is that? Is that like a Playgirl magazine? <laughs> that soda? Okay, noodles. Yeah, I think Celeste will be more into the fancy food and not regular things you could buy. A harpoon?! What the fuck? What? Another lucky? Or why the hell were you shaking? Why are you shaking? Another curry, that's fine. If I get another repeat, then whatever. Is that another rose thing? Okay, that's fine. Two more. There's two more coins and then I think I'll be on my way. Another of this thing again. Good god, it's 15%, isn't it? How the hell am I getting the same shit over and over again? Also, I get lucky again. Cool. What is this? Is that a fucking gun? <laughs> Maybe for self-defense? Who knows? 
Another Playgirl magazine. Alright. One more lucky roll. And it is... A phone, okay. I think that's it. How to get out of here. Circle, got it. I should probably get going. Oh wait, does that count as uh, spending my day? Fuck, I better not. Oh, okay, good, doesn't seem like it. Alright, um... Who can I... God damn it, asshole. If you don't get out of that fucking library... Is that all you do every fucking day? Just look at this goddamn... Can I read that book? Is there a book that I could read from that from that library if you're too busy reading that damn book? Can I... Can I don't... Can I borrow a book? Fuck. What about that room? I might be interested in going to that room. Why not? Hey, you. I can't concentrate with you here. Kindly leave. That's why I'm going in there. So that I won't be in your presence, right? Fuck you, dude. You're plotting something. I know it. I need to wonder how the fuck you I could get into your head. Also, where the fuck is everyone? <laughs> oh, shit. Everyone's, like, here. Uh... Okay, he what the fuck are you doing in the bathroom? Kyoko might be a good bat. But do I want more friends or do I want I mean at least talk to the people I like once. Because in case they die, then I'm gonna miss my chance to do so. So I guess I shouldn't hang out with people I tend to be comforting with. I should open and broaden my horizons a bit. So, uh, what's his face name again? Yoshi or something? The surfer dude? I keep forgetting your name, sorry. <laughs> Alright, uh... Sup, dude? You're into weird shit, right? Huh? Oh, well, well, cool. Makoto! What's going on? Uh, yeah, let's spend some time with Hiro. Well? Wanna go grab a bite to eat in the dining hall? I'll teach you where all the best power spots are. Best power spots, alright. <laughs> Uh, presents. I'll give you the flashlight I got. Where is it? Bird seed. Oh, I don't have that anymore. Shit. Love status ring, so I could get that in case I feel like I'm in love with someone. A G stick. What the fuck is that? Most people consider it a throwaway watch due to its poor quality. Still, it enjoys massive popularity due to its low pro. Okay. DVD that contains footage of people reacting to various pieces of art. Okay. Unending dandelion. A dandelion toy you can blow and fluff away. And I don't think she's gonna like- I don't think Celeste's gonna like that. A ray gun Zurion. Created with the high-tech feature technology, a single shot can melt every molecule in, every, in a fully grown human. There aren't many batteries though, so you can't fire it. <laughs> God damn it. A silent receiver? Phone that for some unknown reason doesn't let you hear the person at the other end and doesn't let them hear you. Since he's a weird guy, maybe I could give him the silent receiver or an old timey radio to uh, speak to ghosts or something. Who oh, the fuck knows? Antique doll? Pagan dancer? I don't think he's gonna like that. Where's that flashlight thing again? A small light. Common wisdom might make you think about shining this light onto. Okay. And if facts. Used to distribute a full length novel based on what the world would consider. Oh. What the fuck is this doing here? Neighborhood discovered. Green costume. As soon as you put this on, you feel like you can take on any challenge. It resembles a stereotypical dinosaur. Maybe I could give that to Aoi or something. And these are key items, I'm guessing. Alright. Let's give him a. Where is it? A silent receiver. Maybe he'll like that. I'm gonna assume. That's really nice of you, man. I'm gladly take it. I get the impression you really liked it. That's good. It hey, Makoto. You know what I think? You and me meeting like this? It wasn't a coincidence. Hmm. So I've got some good news for you. I'm gonna give you a psychic reading for a huge discount. How about that? Normally, 
It's a thousand bucks for two hours, but for you, let's call it 900. That's only a hundred dollar discount, and even then, that's way too expensive. Hey, come on! You should count yourself lucky that the ultimate clairvoyant is willing to tell your future. So you are right pretty often? Well, I sure am. The bare minimum. Minimum. I've got 20% of accuracy. That sounds pretty sketchy. For real, don't make that face, didn't you? 20% is of the right of time. I'm right every time. That includes natural disasters, election assaults, and you name it. Don't you realize how amazing that is? How about that? Okay, fine. I'll give you a special trial run. After all, I've already seen what the future has in store for you. What? What did you see? Well... <laughs> you won't believe what I saw. It would appear that the mother of your children and the mother of my children are the same woman. What? <laughs> Wait, what? The mother of your children, meaning mine, and the mother of my children... <laughs> are the same woman so we're related I refuse deny don't like it right, right. doesn't matter if it do don't like it that's just the way it is but that's a 20% chance of you actually getting it right which I'm gonna say it's probably wrong you know at least I pray everything only that you're wrong please be wrong <laughs> and sir I think <sighs> I like him he's funny I mean, $1,000 please don't worry you can pay me after we get out of here no way you can be able to to right, you're gonna be right. Hmm. If you like, I can be now. Now, uh, naturally, additional fees will <laughs> <laughs> think about it. Okay, let me know as soon as you're ready for my services. Ahaha. <laughs> Do I have enough in my bank account to take another crack at it? No, I can't bring myself to pay something like that. Uh, he is fun, though. I have to say, he's the life of the party. Yay! Oh, I've unlocked the skill lost in thought. Give yourself a pat in the back. All right, what the fuck is lost in thought then? What kind of skill is that? Another day or nighttime? Nighttime. All right. I guess I'm feeling a little hungry. <laughs> I better get something to eat before it's nighttime. I should. Hey, okay. All right, we'll be uh, right back, and the next episode we'll go to the dining hall. So stay tuned to that. Alright, to the dining hall we go, I guess. Get some food, might get poisoned or something, who knows. Uh, anybody out here? Anybody in the dining hall? Or what? Oh, what's going on? I just wanted to get something to eat. And now I'm about to get roped into something like this. Actually, no. I guess I'm already roped in. Listen to me! Hey, Makoto! Perfect timing! Uh, what's going on? Hey, damn it! I have a favor to ask. Uh, a favor? I have a bad feeling about this. Uh. Alright, uh, let's start. Okay, Makoto, what do you want? Hey, damn it! Come on, Makoto, you gotta be our witness. Oh, no. Witness to what? What? The guy's been talking shit about me since day one, calling me a coward and shit like that. You're corrupt! You are a coward! That's why you turn to violence to solve your problems! Yo! That's why you can't do what society asks you! Why you walk around dressed like that! The fuck you say? Well, okay, well, first off, um, that's just being very stereotypical. Just because of what you wear or what you look like doesn't mean that dictates that you're a bad guy, now are you? Yeah. Don't know shit! You already lost to yourself, but you're such a coward you don't even realize it! Damn you! So what, you're saying you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? Count on it! I know I am! You wanna fight? Okay then, let's throw down, prove what you've got, and I Yay. don't! Accept your challenge! So what's happening, Makoto? You're gonna be on our witness? You're gonna throw down? You're not gonna start punching each other, are you? Hey. There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? With sauna inside. I see! I see! A simple endurance test, is it? We're going to see who can stay in the sun the longest, am I right? God damn straight! What the fuck? Okay... Um, I just want food. Are you guys really gonna go through this? Oh, sorry. Are you guys really gonna go through with this? Shit, yeah! 
He'll be done in a matter of minutes anyways. People like him are without exception. All talk. You wanna throw down? Bring it on. Hell, let's make things interesting. Wouldn't want to win without a challenge, right? I interesting? You son of a bitch. We're gonna battle with our clothes on. That's idiotic, suicidal. You wanna fight? What, you afraid? You're going to regret this! Stop fucking around! Shut up and let's- Why the fuck are we doing this? Goddamn 3 a.m. in the morning! Oh my god. Hey, Mondo. What, asshole? You can take off your uniform, you know? Go ahead. I won't judge. And you can shut the fuck up and mind your own business. I mean, look at you. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? Why the fuck am I roped into this? It just so happens. I was born with a red face. You don't have to act all big, man. Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good. I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soup right now. Uh, are they okay? I tried pushing my concern aside. A few minutes passed, then a few dozen minutes, then an hour. Guys, you're gonna be stuck here. It's about time. You gave up. What about you? You can't even hardly talk. Dumbass. Say whatever you want. I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel uh, kind of cold. Guys, you're pruning up. This can't be good. Probably not good. You have so much to live for. Hey, uh, guys, I know you want to prove how big and badass you are, but don't you think you've done a red enough? God, I just can't win. I better get the fuck out of here. Hmm. <clears throat> As such, soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Well, just a dining hall, right? So... <laughs> Alright, uh, I should probably get back. Hey, did you hear that? It's night time. How about we call it a tie? In a true competition, there's no such thing as a tie. Whatever. You guys die on your own. Whatever. You win, or you lose. That's You'll be one of those matters. fuckers that'll get the Darwin Awards. As if it matters anyways. Listen to you, you son of a bitch. Then bring it on. Uh, I'll push you right up to the gates of hell. Huh. The gates of hell, that's probably not a good place to push someone. This isn't good, guys. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you hear him. Better crawl on back to your room. I'll let you know how it went in the morning. Then you can start spreading my, my legend. <laughs> Coming tomorrow morning? You'll fall down in front of me, down on your knees. I'll show you where to... Do it! Big talk for someone whose face is about to explode. Hmm. Right back at ya! Okay, well, good night. <laughs> yeah, see, Makoto, now you're thinking like me. Get the fuck out of there. See ya. I really hope those two don't overdo it. But I'm sh Uh, do you guys hear that? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh... Lankara, why the fuck are you talking? <laughs> I should really turn on my laptop. For some reason, like, I just saw, saw her that's like, Oh, yeah, blah, blah, you know, Power Rangers, all that. She's like, Lankara? And I, it seems like, apparently, the video was playing even though my laptop was on sleep mode. Alright, whatever, I'll shut that down. Okay, sorry for that interruption. <laughs> That was interesting, but I'm sure to death? No, surely they wouldn't go that far. Did I take a break? Well, that's probably a good time to take a break anyways. So we'll be right back to see whatever the fuck's up. Stay tuned for the next episode of Dan Gun Ronpa. Stay tuned for that, guys.